What's up guys? So it's probably gonna be a short video, but today I'm going to be washing our F-250. So come along. So I know what y'all are probably saying. Mason, you have a truck. Truck's supposed to be dirty. And yes, you probably are correct. But I, on the other hand, like to have a clean vehicle. And since the wife has been driving this a lot, I want her to have a clean vehicle. Since I got a new job, I have a work truck. She drives around this. Oh yeah, GoPro. <laughs> she drives around this. I want her to have a clean vehicle. So that's what we're gonna do today. A lot of the stuff that I do, you do not have to copy. It's just some of the stuff that I like to do with the products that I have. We're gonna be definitely using the foam cannon and we're gonna strap the GoPro. So y'all can watch that, it's gonna be super cool. All right, so now we're just going to uh, do a pre-rent. So we're just gonna wet the vehicle, get a lot of the bugs off, and then we are gonna foam it and then we're gonna wash it and then wash off the, the foam. might be thinking to yourself, Mason, you just suds the truck. Why are you letting it sit on there? Well, what you're really wanting is when the soap lays down on the truck, picks up the dirt, flips over, and then slides down the truck. So I'm gonna let it sit for just a second, but not very long, but let it sit for a second, and then take the wash mitt, and then we're gonna start from the top, and then we're gonna work our way down to the bottom, every once in a while flipping over the mitt. the mirror that's important and get all the way around so I was saying before you always want to start high and then work your way down focusing on the body lines because that's where the soap I mean that's where the dirt <laughs> that's not where the soap that's where the dirt is gonna collect so you always want to really kind of focus on here here 
here, all of that, that's gonna be where the dirt is gonna wanna stay. Starting high, working your way down. Cause you never wanna grab the dirt up here and then put it up here. All right, so come with me, Rachel, let's go put some more soap on this real quick. So, I do the two bucket wash method. So in this one, it's my washing mitt, or my, my, yeah, I wash my mitt in that one. This one's my clean one with soap. So I've got a, uh, so I've got a dirt trapper. So whenever you, uh, so it just sits in the bottom. So whenever you stick the wash mitt in there, all of the dirt goes to the bottom and then it stays in the bottom and it doesn't come back up. So you want to rinse this out real well. That way, whenever you stick it into the clean one, making sure you get clean sides. Yes, your bucket will probably turn a little brown, but I'd rather be a little brown than like super dark. That one's pretty nasty. I probably should have, well, yeah, you won't be able to see it because that one's not clear, this one's clear. But I probably should put some more soap in there, but we're almost done. Oh, yeah, 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 don't forget, watch your back window. Put it over, see the dirty that is, that's nasty, that's nice and thick. I'm sure there's gonna be someone in the comments that's gonna say Mason, but you should be washing your vehicle like this. And I would say, come help me. <laughs> now, if I was doing this as a job, I would have a lot better product. I'd probably take a better care, but this is our personal and this is how I wash it. All right, so now I'm gonna wash it off. Also, you've probably noticed that the wiper blades are up. All right, so I do that because whenever you're washing it, if your wiper blades are down, then all the dirt collects on your wiper blades. So then whenever you uh, wipe your window the first time, all of the dirt that was sticking on there just scratched your window. So you always wanna lift the wiper blades up. That way all the dirt and everything and the soap will slide down. And that way everything will be clean when you go to wipe it. Get our 40 degree, tap it on. Check it. That's why you check it. Because if I wouldn't have checked it and that would have hit the window or something, that could have been really bad. Check it again. All right, we're good to go. Now we're gonna rinse it off. Start from the top, go to the bottom. All right, so if you can kind of see, my hands are dirty, but if you can kind of see that the water is just sticking to the paint, it's not coming off kind of like this little spot is. So when we got the new um, windshield washer fluid, I put some ceramic spray around that to kind of clean that up. So the water is gonna beat up, but since the rest of the hood is not covered in it, it's just kind of sticking to it. So we're supposed to be getting a new hood, hopefully Thursday or Friday, cause the tree fell on it that day. But then after that happens, then I'll probably either buff it and polish it, or I'll put some more ceramic stuff on it. That way, whenever you wash it, the water beads. That way, whenever it rains or the next time you wash it, it's a lot easier. And that way the water doesn't stick to the paint. All right, let's get back to washing. All right, I'm thirsty. Tea break. Mason got his own personal half gallon of tea. HTO, sponsor us. which I know is like for the detail world, it's not a good idea. I just don't like to take our car through the car wash. The bristles and the brushes and everything, they're not washed all the time. So they can actually like scratch your vehicle worse. So going through an automatic car wash is not the greatest ideas. So if you had like a, a blower or something with compressed air, you could get that the water out, see how you, it keeps dripping. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
but if you had something with compressed air you could get all that water out so i'm going to use the silk shine protectant for vinyl rubber and plastics it's also uv protection it's a new look dry to the touch no oily greasy or sticky residue you probably should be wearing gloves i don't spray a little bit on there wipe it down I just have a few spots. I want to try to see if I can touch them up real quick. not where I want it to be, but it's a lot better than it was. So that's what matters. But now it's important whenever you're done to always clean your products really well because you don't know when you're gonna use them again. So for instance, my foam cannon, you always wanna make sure that you clean it out and get all of your old soap out. What I'm gonna do here in a second is I'm gonna fill it up with water, with just water, and then I'm gonna stick it back on and then I'm gonna spray the water. That way it cleans all of the internals out. I've had this for a long time. It's the chemical guys one. It's got all of the good like metal and in, uh, internals. And so it hasn't rusted out yet. And this is what I've done all the time. And it's always been good. So right now I'm just kind of rinsing it out. I'm using dirty water for now, but then I'm gonna fill it up with fresh water here in a second. So sticking it in the paint bucket, rinsing it around, dumping it out. All right, so I'm gonna fill it up. Still seeing some suds. Um, little trick to make this get dumped out faster whenever you dump it, if you kind of like swirl it like a tornado, it'll get dumped out faster. It doesn't look like it goes faster, but you actually, it doesn't go like boom, 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 because it's always getting air in there. All right, so all you need is just a little bit. Put it back on there. Throw this around. So, oh, it helps if you turn the machine on. <laughs> now you have pressure. Run through each of the settings, all the way open, all the way closed. Now we're gonna go all the way water. That way it sucks up more water. We're gonna go back to full soap. Now you've officially cleaned out your foam cannon. That's about it. Like I said, there's a lot more stuff that you can do to make your vehicle nice and clean. It's not where I would like it to be, but it is clean. So, okay. Bye. <laughs>